Hi, my name is Chuck Barisich. I farm with my brother Justin here in the Bothwell area. We have a corn and soybean farm. We no-till everything. We've been farming for the last 23 years and we have about 3,500 acres. When I first really looked at the soil optics technology at a, I think it was a FarmSmart conference outside of Guelph, I was super excited. It was, when I first saw it, I thought, you know, this is exactly what I've been looking for to try to map out the variability on our soils. One of the challenges that we had with our old soil sampling technology is that it didn't give us enough detail. One of the things that Soil Optics does is it gives way more detail and it sort of maps out all of the variability in the soil. When we had Soil Optics out, I had them try my home farm and when they brought the map back, I compared the map that they, they gave me to the map that I had originally with our old process and I didn't believe them. I looked at it and I said, "This is there's just no way that I had the pH issues or the issues with the farm that, uh, that they were showing in that much detail. So I actually sent one of my employees out and they, and I sent them to the spots and they did some soil sampling the way that we would traditionally do it. And what I discovered is that uh, I had way more problems with my home farm than I had ever, ever realized and that the soil optics data was actually almost perfect. Um, to show, the, to show the detail, and that really convinced me that this was a good technology. What makes Soil Optics different is it's taking a different approach. It's saying, how can we take what we're already doing and kind of moving it into the 21st century? 